So today I want to talk about prenatal nutrition. Um, I really think this should be called the art of prenatal nutrition. The trick with feeding pregnant does is that you don't want to feed too much and you don't want to feed too little. So um, typically on our farm, our does are still in milk for the first three months of their pregnancy and we dry them off for the last two. So while they're still in milk and growing babies, we need to support them nutritionally, um, making sure they get plenty of calcium for that milk production, um, but also not feeding them so much that the babies get too big. So typically our does um, for the first three months will still be on um, alfalfa or alfalfa grass mix. And when they're on the milking stanchion, they are going to get their usual rations of um, chaffe with some black oil sunflower seeds and the grain we use is a whole barley that we sprout here on the farm. Let me show you what that looks like. So we start with a bed of chaffe, uh, which is a fermented alfalfa. Some people use alfalfa pellets. My does act very insulted when I offer them alfalfa pellets instead of chaffe. There's another product called alpha hay, which is similar to this. Um, that is also a good choice. So we usually do that. Um, I add in a scoop of our black oil sunflower seeds for the fat and the protein. And then um, we buy whole barley and sprout it in these jars in the milking room. Someday I'll do a video on how we sprout barley. It's very simple. It's also extremely affordable. Um, one of the reasons we do this is a lot of commercial goat grains uh, are full of molasses and sugar. Um, so I don't want to give those excess calories to my does. Um, any time of year, um, uh, I would but definitely not um, when they're pregnant. So I'm gonna go ahead and add some of my um, barley to my dough's rations. So typically this is pretty easy because I will give this to them on the milking stanchion for those first three months of their pregnancy. Okay, so then what happens um, when I start to dry the doughs off? When I start to dry the doughs off, I need to reduce the calcium. Calcium in, calcium out, right? We all know they used to tell us to drink milk because it was good for our bones because of the calcium. So your dough needs to intake a lot of calcium if she's putting out a lot of milk. So we tend to decrease the amount of alfalfa and the amount of chaffe when it's time to dry them off because we actually want to help them lower their production naturally as well as doing um, drying off techniques of, you know, going further and further without, without milking um, until they're totally dry. When the doughs are dry, I typically will switch my does to almost completely grass hay. Um, right now we have four does in milk and they're in with a herd of does who are pregnant but dry. And so right now we are um, giving a little bit, so about 80% grass hay and about 20% alfalfa. Um, now, this is the real key. Um, if you feed your does grain through their entire pregnancy, I have found in my personal experience, um, you'll be at risk for those kids being too large. Uh, that could also be said for if they, if they eat too much alfalfa, not only could the kids be too large, the does could be too fat, um, which can really hinder um, a successful kidding. Uh, I learned this, I learned this the very hard way. Um, so uh, the, the key is to, through this is you want to support her and not overdo it. Um, so what if you're feeding a dry dough, a dough who was not in milk when um, she got pregnant? So there are two different versions of this. One is she's an adult dough, a full grown adult dough who is dry. And there's also a junior dough who you bred to be a yearling milker who um, is still growing. So the, in the first case, if it's a dry dough, I do really hope you had her on a pretty light diet. Um, she does not need to be getting grain um, and she probably should be eating primarily grass. Um, otherwise, a dough who is not in milk will get fat really fast <clears throat> if they're getting a lot of nutrition and not producing milk, not expending those calories by producing milk. Now, if I was feeding a junior dough who is still growing, but also now uh, growing kids inside of her as well. I would probably give her a little bit of extra nutrition, most likely in the form of an alfalfa grass mix, not grain, um, 
And that you're gonna have to really pay attention and know your lines. I have young does who get fat very, very easily and grow out very, very fast as youngsters. And I have others who are the exact opposite who take much longer to grow out, um, who probably I would actually boost up their nutrition to make sure that they are getting enough nutrition to support their continued growth and support the kids. So very much a judgment, judgment call. Honestly, I would veer to a little less calories than too many. That's a, probably a, a safer choice overall. For, for what we do on our farm is at 140 days, which is considered full term, 145 is, would be the, you know, the correct due date for a miniature breed like ours. But at 140 days, there's a chance they could kid. Um, that is the time at which we move them into their kidding pens and I reintroduce grain. So just before that doe gives birth, now it is time for me to boost up that nutrition again. Why would I do that um, before she kids? Um, when the doe gives birth, there's a huge shift in her metabolism and her body starts shunting a bunch of nutrition towards her milk production. We, when you are getting ready for your doe to kid, usually a day or two before, you know, her udder will start to fill and then the, right before she's gonna kid, it gets really large. Her body is doing this shift. So the, the problem that can arise is if she doesn't have enough nutrition and her body makes this huge shift when she gives birth to start pumping out the milk, she can have hypocalcemia, which is called milk fever. Essentially, it's that her body does not have enough nutrition to support that milk production and it can send her into a real spiral. Um, hypocalcemia is a very serious problem. Um, I always recommend keeping a calcium supplement uh, on hand. So you should have it before kidding season. Um, uh, the calcium gluconate is an uh, even better choice. I have both. I have straight calcium and I have calcium gluconate. Um, if your dough gets into that emergency situation, if you have a really high producing dough, that could happen even despite all your best efforts to feed her nutritionally and correctly. Um, it goes, I hope it goes without saying that your dough should be getting a really, really high quality mineral mix throughout her pregnancy. Um, currently, I'm filming this in 2022, the um, Goat Licks Meat Maker has been probably the best um, mineral currently on the market that really um, checks all the boxes. Um, keep in mind that if you're on well water, you may have an antagonist that is preventing your dough um, from properly uptaking those those minerals and nutrition. So do keep an eye. This is where, you know, this is not a one size fits all solution. You need to really observe your animals and see what's working. So those are my basic tips on uh, prenatal feeding. Uh, like I say, it is an art. You need to figure out what's working for you on your farm. So I hope you have a successful kidding season. I hope you're those are just the correct amount of plump without being too fat.